Dr. Tom, I, I hope it's okay. I saw Susie comment and, and I, I would really love to speak to it because I think it's really important. Um, she, she asked, um, when some people have been through so much trauma, stress, and grief, where do you start? I'm in a hyper-stressed state. My body is always tight, fists often clenched, furrowed brow. Even when I'm sleeping, can we unravel all this stuck trauma? And the answer is absolutely, Susie. 100%, no question. You can, you can resolve all of it. And, it's all, and, and my first invitation would be to, to recognize the brilliance of your system. There's a reason why all those things are happening physically. And it's very, very intelligent. It's a very, very smart reaction by the body. So whenever we're dealing with any chronic disease states, any, any symptoms, it's a brilliance in the body. Sometimes we don't like it. I, I get it. I've suffered from chronic issues my entire life since I was 13 years old. So I understand. I really do. Um, we want to get rid of them. Is As we can start to accept the brilliance of our system and accept that there's, there's a reason, there's an underlying fundamental impetus for these things happening, it starts to lessen the charge. The grip starts to loosen on some of these things. And, and Susie, as you get, start to get curious about what's here, why is this this way? Why am I always clenching? And what's, what's really going on here? It's a loving curiosity that can, as we start to get curious, things can start to show up for us. The trick is, Susie, is that we need to get into the body. So there's, there's techniques and there's modalities and there's practices that, that you can use to start to get into the body. I will give you one right now, and we cover this in the summit, that is very, very useful. If somebody's dealing with a lot of stress and they, they don't have a lot of resource on the sort of parasympathetic side, is that we need to build up that vagal tone. And the easiest way to start doing that is just to incorporate a little bit of breath work, just some subtle breath work. And this can be box breathing, circular breathing, four, seven, eight breath. You can, you can Google some of this stuff, but just some light breath work will start to activate the parasympathetic, will start to increase that vagal tone, and that becomes a very, very good baseline from which to do the, the more significant practices, the more significant work as you get into some of the more, mm, more difficult deeper, processes. Deeper. And yeah. I'm going to uh, uh, say I agree completely with what you've said. I'm just gonna add a little explanation the reason you do the breath work is because you have to think about breathing. And so you're focusing on your gut, you're focusing on your lungs, you're feeling the physical of your body, and you're no longer thinking or feeling that emotional stress, whatever it is, and you're, you're working on your breathing, you're centering yourself, and then you see how easily you get knocked off. And I mean, we, we all get knocked off. And when you get knocked out of balance, you say, oh, I got knocked out of balance. I started thinking about this and I just went, I, I forgot all about my breathing for the last three minutes. And you'll see that happens again and again and again. But the beauty is the more you practice these basic exercises, the 101s, the more you stay connected to how you're really feeling the clearer your emotions can come up and you can observe. The observer comes out more, the inner observer, so that you can say, oh, look what happens when, boy, if I think about that, it just disrupts everything in my butt. My gut starts to get tight. My, I'm breathing shallow again, I'm not deep. You start to be able to observe this stuff, but you Absolutely. have to develop the skill set in order to be able to observe it. Absolutely. And when you develop the skill set, which is what Jason's event is all about, is giving you awareness of the different tools you can use. I'm speaking for you on this because I'm, I'm, I'm sure that- You've got a good idea major, of it, I think. Major yeah. emphasis. So you're, you're, you're going to get a number of different tools and you'll choose which one you really resonate with, which one says, well, that just feels good to me. I'm gonna do that and see what happens. And, you know, you do it for a couple of weeks or whatever it is. And you say, you know what, uh, I uh, haven't noticed much of a change. I'm going to go back and listen to, and then I'm going to try a different one. And then you just try them, you know, because everybody's heard me say, you want to get from this level of health to this level of health, you need a map. And you, and you need the map of your terrain. When I moved to California from Chicago, I didn't just head west and just end up wherever, wherever. I had the map, the GPS plugged in, take me to San Diego, right? And so, 
and there's detours along the way. You got to go around the city sometimes instead of, and so there's detours when you're doing breathing exercises. You have to learn how to sit straight when you're breathing. I mean, all these things, oh, my back hurts when I do that. That's a little detour. I mean, all these little things will come up, but as you as you put your 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 bottom in the seat and do the work, it gets easier and easier. Easy is the wrong word. It gets more fluid. It gets less effort to get to that place where, oh, look at that thought. Where'd that come from? Where'd yep. that come from? Tom, you, you hit on the the essence of really what I think this summit is about and really what I've brought into my life and what my sort of um, North star is in life, which is I'm, my objective is to make life easy, period. I'm done struggling. Like I'm, I'm tired of it, you know, and I, struggling emotionally, physically, mentally, right. For finances, for relationships, for love, for connection, for acceptance. These are, these are things that we are all struggling for to some degree. So how can we make life easy so that we rest in our being? without having to effort. And, and literally we can, we can walk through life in flow with ease and grace and things you know, show up and people show up. I'm, I'm smiling, I'm smiling because uh, I brought a consultant in to help us at the doctor.com, really famous guy. He's a good friend and just a brilliant guy. And I brought him in and it was $10,000, $10,000, like what? <laughs> well, you know, we, we need, and it was for one day. <laughs> what? What? But uh, my friends had said when they worked with him uh, over the course of a year, they got really great results and the staff was happier and they enjoyed their work and we were able to reach more people. So I said, oh, okay. So all day long, I'm, I'm looking and say, well, that's not worth that money. That's not worth that. You know, but by the end of the day, and the goal was to come up with what's the theme of the doctor.com. What's our theme? And so now we have our theme and it's everywhere. I mean, I spent a lot of money for that theme. <laughs> but the theme is in terms of your health and it's our slogan, making it easy to do the right thing. Yes. And that's the goal here that Jason's talking about with the emotional or spiritual side of the pyramid of health is making it easy to do the right thing. And you don't get it in a day, but you get the, the steps to, to implement over the course of this event. And then you practice a little bit and you'll find your way.